Our hustler's next scam is at this local car park. With the aid of a fluorescent jacket, a simple out of order sign and a white hat, Paul is going to demonstrate how a con man can hustle some easy cash out of the public. This is the car park con. If the hustlers target the right area, they can make a very good sum of money in a very short period of time. People are in a rush, they need to park their cars, they don't really want to be worrying about what's going on, so they see the sign, it's out of order, they hand over their cash. Now, it's a couple of pounds at a time, but if you have 20, 30 cars that are going to go and park, you can raise a pretty good sum of money. So, Paul is posing as a car park attendant and has stationed himself by a perfectly functioning ticket machine that is labelled with an out of order sign. But are the public really going to fall for it? Or will they see through Paul's disguise? Remember, this scam is being played out in public and our hustlers run the risk of being rumbled at any time. Alex is on watch out close by and can radio through if there are any problems. Morning. The network's down, you have to it's pay. Yeah, you have to pay me. Pay you? Yeah. Why? She seems a bit suspicious, but Paul plays it cool. How much do you want a ticket? Yeah, but I'll, I'll How long do you want? How long do you want? Um, up to three hours. Up to three hours, that'll be five pounds. Please. And, you can uh, give me a ticket, are you? There you go. Just put this in your car, make sure people can see it. Put it in the front. She's just bought a worthless piece of paper, believing it's a valid ticket. And look at the receipt Paul's given her. It's just a page from a standard receipt book stamped with the word paid. Paul's just made his first five pounds, and if he can keep this up, he stands to make a good sum. Like that. There you go. Thank you. She buys a ticket from Paul and leaves. Hit number one's a success. Now for hit number two. Hold on a second. I wouldn't do that. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. The Mark tries to test the machine. Perhaps he doesn't believe our hustler. To divert the Mark, Paul radios Alex on his walkie-talkie. No, still out of order. OK, all right. Um, we need a uh, pound, please. It does just the trick. A bit of official sounding chat, and the Mark backs off. Yeah, two o'clock. That's loads of time. All right, secure. Thank you very much. How long do you need? Hit number three, and Paul's on a roll. She isn't asking any questions. And the marks just keep coming, buying the fake parking tickets without a second thought. They're going to be out giving out tickets all day today. It's ridiculous. OK, there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, two pounds. It will only be three hours because they're going to be giving out tickets. Huh? And why wouldn't they believe Paul? As well as looking the part, he has all the props you'd expect, a float of coins and a book of receipts. So, how is this scam really working? By Paul wearing a uniform, he managed to convince the public that he was an authority figure, so they were handing him over money without even a second thought. Well, that's just social compliance at work, isn't it? You turn up at a car park, the machine's broken down and there's someone there to take your money. Who's going to ask questions? It's the perfect example of somebody using a uniform. I mean, it has nothing on it, it has no badges. I have an ID that basically I just made on my computer. And I have a receipt book that doesn't say anything except I've stamped the word paid on some of the tickets. Back at the car park and in just one hour, Paul's made 50 hits. He may have only taken a few pounds off each mark, but it's added up to a hefty total of over 100 pounds. The whole network is out. So, you can pay me, I'll give you a ticket. This is a particularly cold-blooded scam, as the marks stand to lose out even further. The penalty for parking without a valid ticket in this car park is a fine of £100. In fact, we returned a few hours later and found that for this poor guy, that's exactly what happened. I think it's horrible. How could you do that? How could you take money off of innocent people? It's an exploitation and they need to be stopped. 